Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a unitard. Start by folding the unitard directly in half, and then accordion fold it up. Unitard. Unitard is such a strange sounding word. Anyways, I got this unitard from Dharma, and I'll put a link for it down below in the description box. Try to make sure that all of your pleats are the same height. Now it's time to secure it. For this project I'm using kite string, but if you don't have kite string, you could use rubber bands. I want to take a moment to remind you that in the description box are all of my social media links. I would love to see your projects, especially if you end up doing one of these tutorials. I would love to see how yours turns out. So definitely check that out. And also in the description box is everything that I use for tie dye and they're clickable links. So that makes it easy for you if you want to go shopping. Using a washable marker, mark out your pattern. Now, this is not a necessary step, it's something that I like to do, and I'm making these marks at every half inch. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. And I'm starting with purple. And a lot of you have heard me say before to pay attention to your dye placement. And so I made sure to locate where the, well I'm just gonna say it, where the crotch area of this garment is. And I wanna put purple and turquoise down in there. I want to avoid red or yellow. I don't want orange in there because I don't want it to make brown. So just be aware of that.
For this project, I'm going to attempt to do a DNA offset type pattern. So when adding your dye, you only want to go halfway through the thickness of the pleats. So you don't want to oversaturate the top layer. I let it rest for about 10 minutes and then I came back and I flipped it over and I drew on the pattern. It does make it easier for me, but you don't have to. At this point, you can see where your colors are so you can follow them as a guide. Now when adding dye to the back, you could just do the same exact pattern that you did on the front, starting with the purple. But like I mentioned, I'm trying to do an offset type pattern. So I'm starting with the turquoise. So the turquoise is gonna go down on top of the purple and the purple shifts over one spot. So the purple is gonna go on top of the red. And then the red is gonna shift over one spot and it's going to go on top of the orange. And then the orange is shifting over one spot and it's gonna go on to the yellow and so on. Keep in mind, I have this tutorial sped way up or else it would be really long. I am not adding the dye this quickly. I'm going quite slow and very methodically. When you have it all dyed up, you want to cover it and let it batch for 24 to 48 hours. I let this project batch for 48 hours. Our weather is a lot cooler now, so I wanted to make sure that I had the most vibrancy. So now it's time for the rinse out. And you want to start by using cold water that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric, and then gradually increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a plain hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Kirillon. And I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft to bring softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. And I get those from Dharma and I have clickable links down below in the description box, so go ahead and check that out. We 
well here it is guys. Here's our unitard after it's been washed and dried. And I love rainbows. Rainbows make me so happy. So I think it turned out really good. And I have purple in all the right places. So I'm really happy about that. These um, big projects like this are hard to photograph. I don't have good lighting and a place to, you know, lay it all out so the camera can take good pictures. I need to get a mannequin. So for those of you that have a mannequin, can you please tell me, share with me where you got it because I'd like to check it out. So what do you guys think of this unitard? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.